What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at and do an opening on the Mud Bug by Chase Baits. I purchased two of these. This one is the native color and this one is the melon color. These are the bigger ones. Uh, so these come in at 3.75 inches long, but there is a smaller version. This one weighs 1.09 ounces, so just over one and a half ounces. <clears throat> and it looks like it's got a weighted jig head in it. This is weedless. It'll have a weed guard going from the tail to the hook. It's supposed to have floating claws. So when it's underwater, these claws, when you pause it and it's sitting there, the claws should raise up uh, going into the uh, defensive or attacking position, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> aggressive position. It, the legs are supposed to vibrate on this, so they'll probably uh, twitch while it's sitting there. And it says it has a thumping tail. Also at the bottom, it says the crawl with balls. Uh, there's no balls on this, but there is a giant sack. Uh, it looks like an egg sack. Probably get a better view when it opens up. Um, it says the mud bug is created to be the most lifelike crawdad imitation possible, both in looks and action. The mud bug can be fished in a number of ways. <clears throat> Let it sit on the bottom. In the defensive position, dead stick or slow crawl on your favorite structure. The mud bug is an ultra realistic presentation too, is too irresistible to refuse. Target species looks like it's going to be bass, cod, trout, pike, barramundi, saratoga to name a few. Not sure what those last few fish are. <clears throat> um, and again, this is the melon color. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. Here we're looking at the melon color. Uh, here is the weed guard uh, that keeps it weedless. The tail, uh, this must be the thumping tail. It actually looks like a defect um, right there, but it's not. The other one has it also. Uh, here's the big sack on the bottom. Uh, that's the weight, but it looks like an egg sack. I've never seen that on another crawfish lure. Um, nice color. Nice orange tips on the claw. This is the melon color. The native color looks completely different than any of the native crayfish up here in northern Michigan. I've never seen a crayfish that resembles this one. This looks like it may come from uh, more of a tropical location, but that's why I got it because I wanted something that looked a little different than what the fish are used to, maybe stand out a little bit more, um, and also maybe a little bit different from what the other fishermen are throwing. But both the colors on these look nice and I can't wait to get to throw them. The texture on the body feels very solid, tough, and durable. The antennas have a lot of stretch to them. Doesn't feel like they're gonna pull off at all. So those feel solid also. Then we got the claws. Those feel real tough also. And uh, let's see the stretch. These got some stretch too. Those don't feel like they're going anywhere. The uh, legs, good stretch on those too. Doesn't feel like they're going anywhere. Um, the only thing I'm worried about on this, uh, that thumping tail, like I said, it looked like a defect uh, when I first opened it up, but they both have it. Uh, I'm not sure about that. We'll see how durable that tail ends up being. And then on the bottom, you have an open spot where the hook actually comes out and comes up through to the weed guard. Again, this is the melon color. This looks pretty sweet. It's got like a bluish tint to it. We do have a lot of blue crayfish up here. I love the orange claws on this. Uh, this one will probably end up being my favorite, but this one looks good too. Uh, again, the native color, nice red claws on that. Something different, uh, maybe something the fish have never seen before. And then the eyes on here, they seem pretty solid too. So everything looks good with this bait. I can't wait to throw it. Again, this was the Mud Bug by Chase Baits. So thank you for watching this video. I got tons more lures to show off and I got a lot of time before this ice melts. So please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and we'll see you next time.